Uh, which now has tens of thousands of uh, positions sponsoring it, um, over 80 members in the House of Representatives, dozens of, uh, or hundreds of union local uh, community organisations. So it's a big movement truly for real health care reform, not the other kind of health care reform that the other candidates are talking about. So um, those are there's some very simple areas. Janice is also um, the only candidate running who talked about cancelling NAFTA so that we can renegotiate trade based on fair trade so we can we can implement workers' rights, human rights, environmental quality principles into all trade agreements. Yeah. But in order to do that, we have to withdraw from the WTO because workers' rights, human rights, environmental quality principles are now seen as barriers to trade, and that can't be, can't be the future. A, a lot of support already tonight uh, here. You know, just got a couple minutes ago. A lot of support. Uh, how do you put that, you know, uh, get some results going? Um, well, I hope that the support votes too. And <laughs> how do you do that? How do you push that and, and you make it a reality? Well, really, it's about um, you know people expect integrity when when yeah. they elect people to Washington. Well, the same is true of the electorate. You know, we need integrity of the vote. We need people to really vote for themselves in this election. If people don't vote for their issues, they can't rely on someone else in Washington to do the same. So, Dennis is so clearly stands with the base of uh, of support in, in America, really, because everybody wants to walk into the war in Iraq, want health care, want a change in trade so that we can really restructure the economy here. We're going to head into a recession, we don't need to. There are so many ways in which we can show up this economy, create millions of jobs through reinvigorating our WPA Works Progress Administration. It's something that we term as the Works Green Administration, where we see government literally the potential for government to be an engine for sustainability. And uh, you know, all of these things I hope that people like what they see. They truly buy into the message of their own heart and their own integrity and not the blur that uh, much of the corporate media puts out. <laughs> on, on a lighter note, you, you are uh, rather popular. Uh, you know, even with a month candidates, your name gets lost, you know, in debate. Uh -huh. Your reaction to that? You know, I, I don't read blogs, I don't read what's the news, and I, I don't read news, so I have no idea what people are talking about. If I'm popular, I'm going to speak about that. <laughs> um, moving ahead from here, uh, we've got South Carolina coming up and whatnot. Um, the results don't sound better being on top of the, you know, these primary results coming in. Where do you go from here? Is, do, you, do you keep fighting on? This is about me. This is about the White House, but this is about you know, food building a long term movement. It goes on and on and on. We've seen how the civil liberties have been stripped out of just about everything in Washington. The passage of the Patriot Act, the Military Commissions Act, Homegrown Terrorism Act, Animal Enterprise Terrorism Act. The Constitution has been shredded. We are forming the basis and the groundwork for a, a long term democracy movement in this country. So this is going to go on and on and on. <laughs> it is giving up even an option. Not even. All right, sounds good.